This is the Thank You Ocean Report. The California King Tides Project is helping us to gaze into the future to see the potential impact of sea level rise on our state. King tides are essentially ultra high tides. So they're the highest tides of the year. And when coupled with winter weather can really produce some extreme effects on our shorelines. Sarah Amanzade is the executive director of the California Coast Keeper Alliance. This year's king tides will occur from December 21st through December 23rd, January 19th through the 21st, and February 17th through the 19th. The most dramatic king tides will really be dictated by the weather that complements these existing tides. So if we have very rainy weather and stormy weather, then these king tides may be more or less dramatic. The project's slogan is Snap the Shore, See the Future. Snap the Shore is really just a shorthand way of encouraging people to get out to their shorelines and see the coast, see the bay shorelines. And then the snap piece, of course, to take images, collect photos of what the shoreline looks like. The collective images are used by journalists and shared via social media. And they're used by researchers and policymakers. So they've really become a complement to the way that our state decision makers are thinking about, talking about, and presenting information about how our state is going to respond to climate change. Sarah feels that 2014 has been a monumental year in how Californians are thinking about climate change and weather. So this is really a prime opportunity for our citizens as a state to really think about and talk about how we're interacting with our environment, not only how we're impacted by our environment, but what we're doing to protect our environment. And I think that the California King Tides Initiative is right in line with that trend. It's encouraging people to go out to their shorelines and visualize what will my community, what will my favorite beach, what will my neighborhood look like in 20 or 50 years if sea level rise occurs as projected. And our state is so diverse in terms of the changes to our shoreline that have already occurred and the changes that are predicted in light of sea level rise. For example, more than a third of Southern California's coastline has already been armored with seawalls and other structures. This is a dramatic change from, say, the North Coast area, which is much more undeveloped. There are very different conditions in different areas of the state, and the photos that people collect during king tides really reflects that. Now here's how you can get involved. People can schedule their shoots, you know, find a king tide state that works for them, and plan to safely go out to their coastal or bay shoreline and take photos, and then upload those photos to the Flickr page for California King Tides or on social media. The California King Tides Project is looking for a variety of photos showing the impact of the tides on roads, airports, neighborhoods, and schools. My thanks to Sarah Amanzada. And here's your Thank You Ocean everyday action. Note the time and date of the upcoming King Tides. Find a location where you can safely take a photograph. Select a place where your photo can tell a story about your location. Then share your photo on the California King Tides Flickr page and also post the photos on your Facebook wall. I'm Jerry Kay.